YouTube, what up? Welcome or welcome back. It's Nasty Nate. If you're new here, please consider subscribing on this channel. You're going to see stunt writing, inspiration. Um, I have a self-development podcast that I post on here as well. Um, today, I haven't done a vlog in a while. So um, I, got, I got a story for you guys today. I was drawing some inspiration from it. And, you know, whenever I feel like I feel inspired by a story, or a time in my life, I feel like I just need to share it because somebody else might get a fire under their ass when they hear this. So um, what I'm holding in my hand right here is a check. Um, it's not a big check. This is a story about an amount of money. Um, the significance of the check is who it's from. And so I'll show you guys. This is a check written to me. If you want to pull up at that address, I don't live there anymore, so go ahead. The check is written by Le Mans Corporation. Le Mans Corporation owns Icon Motorsports. The check is written to me. Um, I was a assistant videographer at Icon Motorsports uh, in 2018. Now, me, self-taught videographer editor, no professional experience, professional. Um, no film school, no college degree, no formal education, um, but none of that mattered because I worked there and this check was written by me. So, so basically what I'm saying is um, throughout the process, a lot of the things that we think that we need to have, we really don't. You just got to keep the vision. So the vision was there in 2016 was the first time I went to Icon because Icon is local to Portland, which is the area that I live in. And I had a friend that worked there. He used to build the bikes. And I would go in there, I would take my camera, and I would tell him, man, I want to work here. And he was like, man, I don't know, you know, they only take degrees. Um, I don't know exactly how that's going to work. And I'm like, I don't know, man, but I feel like, you know, I could see myself working here. I could see myself working here. And again, taking it back all the way back to when I first started making videos, this was never part of the plan. This was never, ever, ever a part of the plan to, for me to work at Icon. It wasn't even like a thought in my mind that it could even be a possibility that I could work at the company that I was wearing that helmet and that helmet in 2015 saved my life. Um, my brother was the one that actually got me into videography. He was the one that talked me into recording myself and learning how to edit and learning how to take pictures because it wasn't even my interest. I just wanted to ride. I didn't care about that. And he was like, yo, you need to document this. We have to show people this. This is cool. And as soon as I started doing it, it became a hobby. And then a hobby turned into something that was a passion. And then with the passion, um, I just got better and better at it. I, I, I just... Every single video, every time I went out to take a video, every time I went out to ride and record myself or to take pictures, I just did it with the intention that this was the best that I was gonna do it that day. It didn't matter how you know inexpensive my camera was. I was using a piece of shit camera. It didn't matter um, how bad the lens was. It didn't matter that I didn't have the right editing software. It didn't matter about that I really didn't even know what I was doing. I just knew that whatever I was taking a picture of, whatever video I was gonna make, I was gonna do it to my best of my ability at that time. And so I went into it with that, not wanting a result or not wanting anything out of this moment that I'm about to do this. I wasn't for the likes, it wasn't for the subscribers, it wasn't for anything other than to get better at this craft. And ultimately, you know, that's what it is. And, you know, with that being said, um, further and further and further into my journey, I would say about four or five years into me making videos and taking pictures, um, an opportunity pops up where Icon, like I said, is local to me in Portland. Uh, somebody had reached out to me and said, hey, we need another guy to hold the camera. I wasn't a second shooter, I was a third shooter, bottom of the barrel. They said, hey, we can't pay you, we just need somebody to come out to this event and hold the camera. And I was like, yo, I'm game, right? So um, I went out there, I shot video, and the opportunity actually arised because I didn't give them, and I did this on purpose, I did not give them the SD card the day that we shot 
I kept it in my camera because I knew if I kept it, I was gonna have to deliver it. So I kept the SD card. The guy reaches out to me, emails me, hey, we need that footage. Do you wanna come down to the shop? Boom, there's my in, right? So I get down there, he shows me around, he introduces me to everybody, gives me a jacket, gives me a helmet, yada, 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 this thing is great, right? And I told him, I said, hey, you know, would there ever be any opportunity for me to work here? And he was like, nah, you know, we're not really looking for anybody, you know, plus you gotta have a degree, uh, they want you to go to film school, blah, 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 right? He's telling me all these things that are basically saying no, um, you're not qualified enough, right? And for me, and the type of person I am, when I hear these answers that I'm not qualified enough, the only thing I'm thinking is, you don't know me. Like, I'm, I'm, I'll do whatever, right? So eventually, um, he asked me to send him a video reel. I sent him the reel. Um, they asked me to come in, and it was crazy. And then a couple months later, I was literally working there. So I don't want to drag this video out too much, but listen, when you take on something, when you take on a craft, when you take on a passion, just fucking do it to the best of your ability and expect nothing in return. Just fucking do it to the best of your ability and don't worry about anything else because I'm telling you, if you do it the absolute best that you can and you have put passion behind it and you put work into it, these opportunities are gonna arise when you have no clue that they're even coming. But when you focus so much on the results, you focus so much on the likes, you focus so much on the, the, the vanity metrics that literally don't mean anything, you start to lose sight of what's, of what's really important. And what's really important was why you started in the first place. Why I started in the first place. I just want to document my process of stunt riding. I don't, I don't want anything else. I just want to be able to look back 10 years from when I started and say that I have videos and pictures of when I started. That's it. That was my only goal. And then it turned into, oh, I want to make videos. And then it turned into, oh, this is the skill set that I actually need backed by stunt riding to get sponsors. Because now this is what people care about, videos and pictures, right? Um, this led to me having my own media company and doing real estate videography. This led to me, like I said, this whole story about working at Icon. Um, this has led to me putting money in my pocket in stunt riding and even outside of stunt riding. So, man, I, I hope this video and I hope this story of a kid with no education and quote unquote underqualified worked at Icon Motorsports and worked next to people that designed the helmet that saved his life when he crashed. So keep rocking whatever you're doing. Don't quit, don't give up. Like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one.